Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Hani Ismail, and today we are to discuss our lesson 1.2 in our construction cost control basic course. In the previous lesson, we discussed what is the cost control in construction projects. In this lesson, we'll discuss why we need construction control. The simple answer to this question. We need cost control to control the project and maintain the project profit. And also we need to know the project profit and the cost performance before the project is completed. If you uh, are aware of the role of financial department in any construction company, the financial department actually doing a great job. You can ask them, they can give you accurate information about the project actual cost, but unfortunately this is, happens at the end of the project, or, or, or even in the best case scenario, at the end of an activity. In other words, you can ask the financial department in your company about the actual cost of the concrete work but they can only answer you when the concrete work completed and finished in your project. But the cost control doing something more interesting. It gives you accurate information during the execution stage. It gives you, it gives you accurate information in early stages in the project. It can also detect where is the problem, if any, and it can give you a wide kind of reports. So let's go and see what we have in cost control. Cost control can prevent the project to exceed the budgeted planned cost. And we'll see in few minutes how uh, or an example of this prevention action. And please take this lesson also as a conclusion why you need to study the cost control. If you are involved in the planning or, or you want to be involved in the planning, knowing the cost control concepts will add to your knowledge much more and it will give you a very powerful tools and techniques to add value to your company. And when you add value to your company, of course, your value will be much more for uh, your company. So the cost control mainly prevention action. It prevents the project to exceed the budgeted cost. But also it can find where is the errors. So the cost control can tell the project cash out errors and where to find them. So performing cost control process can save any additional costs caused by wastage, unproductive resources, or any other kind of unwanted activities. So we can prevent the additional costs by, do, by performing cost control concept. Cost control also can give real uh, feedback about pricing for each item and activity in the project. So whenever you completed a project, you can get this data and give it to your tender department. So you can give them feedback about the actual cost of any activity. Also the cost control can correct the actions. So let's say the main purpose of cost control is to prevent the project from exceeding the budget. But you need to execute some work, then you monitor, evaluate the progress. And if you find that the cost performance is not doing well, you need to correct this action. So the cost control will prevent, give information, and then you can take correction action. Also, one thing the cost control can do for uh, a construction project, it can tell the estimated money or the estimated funds required to fund the project. Uh, any traditional construction project, you will execute the works and you will submit your payment certificate. You get paid one month later 
and then you in this uh, period you are executing new works so if you implement the actual costs to your time schedule you will know that you have to spend some money and then you will get uh, your payment certificate paid in certain dates and from this information you can easily find how much you need to have as a company in order to execute the project let's say you have a project with 200 millions you don't need to have 200 millions you need a certain amount of money a capital to start funding the project but performing cost control will give you accurate information how much and when you need the most or uh, uh, the worst point in your cash flow where you need to fund the project and we'll see it in few seconds now this assembly graph and you are going to do a similar one in our course showing you that this project are going to spend this money and get this money of course this is only for the explanation purposes but when we created it for our own it will be more accurate and of course it will show you the information here and how to do it this is just to show you the idea so I'm going to spend this money I'll get this money I'm going to spend this money I'll get this money I'll spend this money I'll get this money and I'm drawing here a cumulative cash flow and here it is in this point is negative now I start making some profit because I'm spending this money less I'm getting more I'm spending less I'm getting more so here I'm starting getting my profit so this point which is important for me now that I need 2.5 million in let's say month number three to finance the project so by by doing such a chart as a planning engineer or, or as a cost control engineer you are telling your company hey be careful that we need to have this money by this time in order to maintain the project cash flow so this is very important information the cost control can tell planning cannot tell this information only cost control can tell okay one more thing here we talked about the prevention action if you integrated the cost control to the storage or the stores in your construction project you can prevent site engineers from requesting additional materials for example the site engineer, uh, site engineer may request 500 meters square for the tiles for ground floor the storekeeper or the cost control engineer can stop this action and give only 450 meters square because the actual quantity of the ground floor uh, tiles is only 450 meters squares so this is a kind of the prevention action the cost control can do in any construction project one more thing also we talked about here that cost control can tell you where is the problem let's say you have three groups working in the tiles installation and you have a problem with the productivity which group is doing good and which group is doing bad you can find it by the cost control reports and as we show here that the group number two has the worst productivity rate group number three has the best productivity rate and this is can be obtained easily from the reports of the cost control and you are going to do such things in our reports and in this course of course i mean not only the resources but on also the forecasting of the at completion actual cost let's say you completed 25 percent from an activity and the actual cost for this 25 percent is this number so you can easily forecast the at completion cost using this simple formula also the cost control when you are monitoring the exact productivity rates you can revise your baseline to accurately estimate the required man hours so the cost control I, in my opinion it is fully integrated with the planning the good planner should know the cost control and in my opinion the best person to perform cost control is the planning engineer 
So if you are a planning engineer or you are thinking to be a planning engineer, uh, my advice to you, please study cost control. And you studied very well because, because when it comes to the money, everyone will give you more attention than planning the normal things you are doing in the planning. When you convert things to the money, let's say, oh, this engineer costs the company more money equal to this amount, or this engineer saved X amount of money. When you convert the progress into money, it draw the attention of everyone. I wish you find this lesson easy and useful for you, and this is just starting. Let's complete this course together with your comments, with your recommendations. So I'll be happy to hear or see your comments and please uh, share with me your thoughts, your ideas, and see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.